Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where I go into Chandelor, I guess. Um, so let's check it out. Tim the Enchanter. There we go. And I think the last time, the last episode, I freed a village and then I wanted to go into the Red Castle. Um, let's take a look at this map. So the Red Castle is just straightforward and I'm passing windless glade so i think what i'm going to do is free windless glade let's check it out yeah that's what i'm going to do free windless glade if i'm going to battle against the blue wizard i might as well put some blue elemental blasts in the deck i'm a little worried you know because if these wizards have four towns i believe it's four they kind of win the game so got to be careful here you know what? I'm just going to leave it out first. I'm just going to go up towards the town and then I'm going to, or shall I, you know what? I'll just put them in. I'm, I have one of those days where I, where I can decide, you know what I mean? Mm. What to take out though? I've got dark rituals, kind of from the lows, drain life, hippie, lord, royal. Oh, I'm going to cut the lord. I know it's not cool, but gonna cut him uh four time walks wow i forgot how good this deck is um 62 cards you know i think i'll i'll i'm just gonna keep it this way whatever okay so um i don't want to begin a quest i just want to go straight forward right to windless glade that's here and then the wreck castle that's what we're gonna do okay let's leave the bridge See if we can free some villagers. Let's have a look. Already closer. Okay, the monkey. Sure, we'll duel the monkey. I mean, sooner or later, we gotta start, you know, defeating these guys that are gonna give us some uh, some money when we have to play against them. Start the duel. So we've got an island, underground sea. Oh, dark ritual into hippie. That's what you want to do in life. So I can play hippie, turn after time walk, double turn to double, double discard him. So the only thing that could happen here is uh, my opponent having, um, my opponent having a, um, a lightning bolt. You know, that could be an issue. Anyway, casting dark ritual into hypnotic specter. Could go for Royal, which is a stylish thing to do, but I'm a little bit business today, you know? I feel like I, I need to wreck some of these wizards before they wreck me, you know? And the thing is, if you lose, they just kick you out of the game. Like, you, you cannot do anything anymore. It's really bad. So I feel like I now have some time to try to, you know, kill some wizards. Okay, let's first attack, see what he does. He cannot really do anything. We're gonna cast Time Walk. This is ideal. Also with that mana vault, you know, it's got no mana open. So we're gonna take this extra turn. We're gonna attack first, and then we're gonna cast a Tim. So I'm choosing the Tim over the Royal. Maybe that's a mistake, but I think this opponent is playing with a lot of one toughness creatures. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Killing the Hippie with the Winter Blast. Winter Blast is a pretty good card, by the way. It deals two damage um, to each creature with flying, uh, but it also taps them down. Mm, what to do, what to do. I've got Control Magic I cannot cast. I've got Royal I cannot cast. All I can do is just pass turn. So this is not great. I need like Contract from below. To draw into some new cards. Oh man, that's not great. Um, sure. In response, ping you for one. Mm. I thought it was a red elemental blast. It's a fire breathing on my Tim. Okay, sure, man. I love your style. I mean, I like to Tim too. I get it. It's a cool card. Uh, just past turn. So now we've got counter magic open. This is where you want to be in life, right? If you're a blue mage. Get ahead on board, keep mana open for counter spell. You know, sit back, enjoy the ride. Hopefully he's gonna cast like a big creature with mana vault and I can counter it away and then he takes damage from mana vault. Gotta remember to ping and end step. Okay, a swamp, that's good, I can play royal. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. 
I think it's going to pass. Feeling pretty good about myself. The only problem is that I don't have a lot of pressure. So this could be one of those long games just because it takes a long time for me to kill this ape lord. He's on 12 still. Mm, I actually don't want to counter this because I can just ping it down with my Tim. Mm, I'm going to attack with the Royal. Why not? See, I'm just here to cast Time Walk, but I I think I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to wait a bit longer. I'd rather use Time Walk in a moment where I can just kill him in, you know, with that extra turn if I maybe can get like a big flyer. Sure, man, cast Fire Breathing. I mean, you got to like the Ape Lord. He's a cool guy. He's like, I'm going to get Fire Breathing to everybody. You got Fire Breathing. You got Fire Breathing. You got Fire Breathing. Got to like it. Um... Let's ping it down. Okay, this is the factory is actually quite good, you know, because with the factory I can hit him for two extra, so deal three points of damage together with the Tim, actually four points of damage a turn. He's now on 10, so like we're getting closer. So I feel like a time walk could be useful. Let me just ping him. Let's cast a time walk. Okay, so we're not really finding what we're looking for, but on the other hand, we're so far ahead, so I cannot complain. Should not complain. I've got counter magic in hand, control magic. I mean, he's on six, you know. Next turn, I can hit him for three. Of course, ping him and step, so he's going to go down to two. Okay, let's go to assembly worker. Let's go! I mean, the only negative about this is that I have to give him another turn, but um, yeah. Not unhappy about this at all. Oh, stream of life. Yeah, I'm so gonna counter this. You know what? Let the royal do the work. It's a royal finish. Take the cards. Birds of Paradise. Wait. Okay, and there we can already see the village. So I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna play my anti-dark ritual and counter spell. Here we go. Versus the dragon. Start the duel. Winning the toss. Okay. What do I have? Oh, I've got birds first turn. That's sweet. Um, wow, look at this. Dark ritual in hand. Double island swamp factory ghost ship. Sengir. So what I want to do here is try to cast that Sengir as fast as I can. So I'm going to do island first because if he has land destruction, he can kill my only swamp. So I don't want to take that risk. So I'm going to go island first. Could have gone factory, but I like to have that idea of having double blue. Um, just passing the turn for now. Next turn, if everything goes right, you know, I can cast it Sengir. There's the gem bazaar, people. Taking a, taking a hit. I mean, this is ideal, right? I think if I have ritual and I can make, yeah. Let's go Ritual into Sengir. I have to say, I'm really enjoying these uh, Dark Rituals. Of course, I know it's a good card, but, you know, I don't play with black that often in, in like, real paper magic. So it's just nice to see. And I'm thinking, like, I really want to make a deck that way for Rituals and for Sengirs. Because I think most people, and understandably so, use it to drop your turn one hippie, which is still... a Classical power play, but just I, I love that like turn three Sengir. Okay, so we've got a swamp. I'm gonna go for island. Let me first just attack, see what happens. Okay, and then I'm gonna cast Goshen. Let's make a blue, why not? There we go. 
So the problem now is I kind of ran out of gas with my hand, but then again, he's not doing much either. Okay, so let's see. I've got a few options. I think I'm going to use my control magic before... I, I guess with the scepter I could choose, but still, I'm just going to steal. I just want to put full pressure on, just make this into a quick game. I want to go into the red castle, so... Okay, he's on 12. Is he going to do like double... double bolter here? Uh, okay, sure, sure. I don't mind, it's a two for one. I mean, I can live with that. Let's go swamp. I mean, the drain life is starting to look better and better, right? I'm getting more and more black mana. Done. Done. And of course, I can use the... I can pump the fight break with the Birds of Paradise. So I'm going to make red. That's pretty cool. Like, I'm playing with cards. Colors that aren't even in my deck. The bird... Fire Drake. Anyway, hit him for six. There you go, sunny boy. So far, this has been a great campaign, right? Beat the Ape Lord. I'm playing very well against the Drake. Ooh, there's a Rack Man. I mean, I'm loving this. Like, I love to see these cards. You know, it's so cool. It's a card from the dark. The OG art is very cool. Um, the Gathering Dark in the novel, um, this dude has a pretty big role. So, very, very well written, by the way. The Gathering Dark. Recommendation from the tin. Um, shall I steal the Rack Man? Let's see, can I kill him already? I think I can kill him. I probably should do that, right? If I can kill him. Um, yeah, I can. I should do that. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna kill you. I'm gonna attack. I could pump the Drake with this one. And now I'm going to play the Drain Life. Because I can drain him for two, right? Yeah. I'm doing it very slow because I don't want to make a mistake. <laughs> like I've done in the past. Hey, the people are rejoiced with my victory. No, oh, I want to... Mm. Shall I pay him? I'm not going to pay I'm going to do it. Whatever, man. I'm not going to pay anymore. Like I said, certain point you want these these uh, these dudes to start paying me. So I've got to kick their ass. Why is there a wall of dust in my deck? Oh no, I got it from one of those. Uh, thank you for a wall of dust. Um, let's see. I've got dark ritual. This is a little bit difficult for me because I'm tempted to go contract from below because the hand's really bad. Mm. But I could also cast Dark Rift. We'll have two black in the pool. But the question is, can I do anything with those with the double black? What I'm going to do, I'm going to cast Factory. Next turn, I'm going to do the Dark Ritual contract play. Oh, wow. Time walk. That, that kind of changes the situation. Um, you know what? Now I'm just going to attack with the uh, with the factory. Because of the time walk. I want to wait for hopefully get blue mana. And then I can have a situation where I have an extra turn. And then play contract after. So I can start with the, with the hand. Okay, my opponent not doing anything. So that's good. Uh, let's go swamp. I could go contract five mana, but there's still nothing I can cast, though. You know what? I'm going to go contract five. I'm just going to do it. I don't have the patience, people. I'm sorry, Time Walk, but remember, I'm playing with four Time Walks anyway, which is insane. Uh, let's see. I've got two mana floating. Ooh, I could go Dark Ritual into Sengir, but I probably should do Hippie. I'm going to do Hippie. So done. The thing is, hippie, hippie. Also, with the t time walk next turn, I can do time walk. Oh, that's funny. Life force coming just a turn too late, buddy. 
you know, you just want to have the situation again where you can you can discard stuff. Um, I'm thinking. Thing is, if I do dark ritual into Sengir, I cannot cast Time Walk. I think I just need to. Although now he's got, he doesn't have mana open. I think I think I need to go for the for the Time Walk plan. Let's go. I'm just already gonna cast Time Walk. I just don't want to forget it. Okay. Go to attack. Go for it, deal four, and he has to discard a card, like this is super. Um, and then of course take my extra turn. Mm -hmm. Wow, what to do? I'm just, it's luxury, right? It's absolute luxury. Um, I think I'm gonna cast Hippie. You know, Hippie is so good. I'm just going to empty his hand with those Hippies and take it from there. Brain Geyser with Dark Ritual, also really nice. Wonderlust, sure. Another Swamp, and again he stepped out, right? So that, that's great for me. Um... Hmm, 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 hmm. You know, I'm first gonna attack. Let's see what cards he discards. Got so many options here. I mean, look at all the good cards he's losing. He's on six. I cannot drain him for six with the drain lives. That's unfortunate. So I'm just gonna go sing your vampire. Things are going well. Okay, I mean, that's not great, but it's not really that big of a deal. Okay, the thing is, this is really nice when your opponent is this low. He's on six. So if I attack with two hippies and the Sengir, he has to block the Sengir. Why? He's on six. He'll gonna, he's going to die otherwise. So it's actually a non-brainer here to attack with everything. There we go. Let's see. Uh, no cards in hand. I can drain him, I think. Uh, let's go. Yeah, I can drain him. Drain life. One and... Okay. Let's go. Swamp. 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 Done. Hey, with one again. Take the cards. Okay, red amulets for any sorceries, no thank you. Okay, the wall of earth is out of the deck, I guess, whatever. Uh, let's see, we're very close to the red castle, right? Okay, we're going to go into the red castle. I hope it's going to be a good campaign, because so far it's been going great. toss as well start to duel Ooh, I'm starting with the rod of ruin I keep I keep forgetting to read that stuff that they're giving me a card to start with which is cool um I've got counter spell in hand so I'm just gonna start with with island so I've got counter magic open as fast as possible I also see a hippie there which is nice because I can do city of brass next turn swamp I can still play the hippie and have counter magic open uh, next turn Okay, so this is really good. Like, he's not playing anything out. That's good. So he's going to pass. I could counter magic open next turn, deploy hippie. Could be worse, you know. Yoshin soldier. I don't want to counter. I'm fine. Fine with the Yoshin. Let's make black. Take good damage. Another Yoshin, okay, okay, maybe I should have 
counter that first Yoshin. Also because I'm now going to probably tap out for the Tim. Although, hmm, I've got a few options, right? I think I'm going to cast the Tim though. One of the things I could have done as well is keep counter magic open and then ping him for one with the rod on the end step. Hmm, maybe I should have countered that first Yoshin. That was that was not smart. Also because I'm tapping out now anyway, you know what I mean? Um, I'm just gonna attack with the Spectre again. I mean, this is becoming problematic. I keep taking damage from the City of Brass. It's not great. More damage from the Yoshins. I'm on eight. Ah, maybe I was a little bit cocky there with the Yoshins. Uh, let's ping him for one. Mm, this is not great. A line of play here is keep Hippie untapped. I don't like it because I just I want to force him to discard those cards. Ah. Uh, then again, if they were any good, he would have played them out already. I've got counter magic open. Okay, so I'm gonna just pass a turn because I've got counter magic open and I wanna try to kill a Yoshin because I can block a Yoshin with the hippie and then double ping. I mean, I'm on eight, you know, this, this is problematic. My opponent's playing, I think, direct damage also. Okay, so he's not doing anything, which is ideal. I can just ping him for two. I'm not gonna use the rod because I don't wanna go down in... Um, in life, and also then I don't have any counter uh, mana open. Ooh, this is annoying. Look at my hand, you know, it's, it's not great. Um, I'm just gonna pass. Yeah, I gotta dis what to discard here. Um, I'm gonna discard a Modi. I was also thinking Drain Life, like Drain Life would be the next candidate. I just got to keep my fingers crossed, hoping that I'm going to draw into uh, into more lands. Okay, there's a Bolt. So I'm going to... Shall I Blue Elemental Blast? Let's do that. Okay. Oh, did I not forget to ping? Oh, man. That's <laughs> so bad. Why do I forget to ping, man? Okay, this is quite nice. Control magic. I could actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's first attack. Let's attack, dude. That's great. I'm gonna do ghost ship. I mean, having four mana makes such a difference. Now I've got ghost ship to block if he attacks, which I think he won't because he didn't do it earlier. Um, smoke. Okay, you know, I can, whatever. Um, I'm, I'm gonna ping. Select a creature to untap, yeah. Okay, fair enough. I mean, I still have the ship and I have the factory, so I'm not that concerned. Is it ideal? No. So we're just gonna block separate here. I know I can double block kill a soldier. I just don't wanna take that risk. I just don't wanna take any damage. I mean, the only thing that can make me lose here is like an expel, like a fireball. So I don't wanna take any damage. So I can discard. Okay, let's, let's take a moment to think about this scenario. Um, there's actually not a lot to think about. I've got flying creatures, he doesn't, I can ping him. So I just attack with Go ship hippie, put him on one. Finish it in style with a Tim. Do it, man. Great, okay, take the cards and run. Leave the village. There's a dungeon, which is cool. I'm gonna do the dungeon next time. Yeah, let's take, let's take a nice screenshot that we're entering. Sweet. Loving it, loving it. Uh, who dares to challenge the mighty red wizardess? 
Are you brave enough to enter my castle? Yes, sure, man. I walked all this way. I'm not going to turn around. Enter the castle. Uh-oh. There was a glitch, obviously. So let's enter it again. Enter the castle. Power surge in play. Oh, man. This game, you know, it sometimes makes me so sad. Power surge. So every untapped land, I take a damage, right? It's like a mana burn thing. Oh, that's not great. I actually have a deck with Power Surge. I think it's like a well-known deck. Uh, it's like Dragon Whelp, Sheev and Dragons. I call it Dragon Surge. Which of these spells requires one blue and zero colorless mana to cast a counter spell, a power struggle, a flight, a control magic, or a phantasmal terrain? Counter spells two. Power struggle? I don't know. Flight is one. Flight's one. Yeah. Let's do another question mark, people. Which of these spells has a regeneration ability? Mishra's War Machine, Zombie Masters, the Dryads, the Pikeman, or the Scavenging Ghoul? Um, Mishra's War Machine is banding, right? Zombie Master gives regeneration. The Dryads is um, Forest Walk. Pikeman has First Strike and banding. I guess the Scavenging Ghoul, although it doesn't have regeneration, but it can get regeneration. Exactly. There's some difficult questions there. Um, I guess I gotta attack the Ape Lord. Let's go for it. Oh, Goblin Raiders. Let's play first. I'm a little bit worried about this matchup. Um, now I'm extra worried. Let's see, what do I have? Uh, time Walk, Control Magic, Dark Ritual, Time Walk, Sangir Willow. Oh man, I'm actually not that happy with this hand. Obviously, because it's a one-lander. Uh, the good news is I can, the power surge, I can like put the black man into regeneration. I'm not gonna block. Okay, there's another one. So I could go, I guess I can, can I regenerate twice? I don't think I can, but I, I wanna try to do the Sengir next turn. Oh man, I just really don't like this power search in the game. It's just bad. Like, bad news for me. Oh yeah, killer bees, of course. Yikes. Oh, he's not... He, oh, he's smart. He's not gonna attack because he doesn't want me to use the willow. Oh no. I'm gonna take two points from the power search. This is really bad. Okay, um, I'm gonna go dark ritual. Into Sengir. This is gonna be a tough match. Like, this is really gonna be difficult. He's got this killer beast to pump all the green mana in. Oh man, I'm not happy with how this is going. At least I've got the factory though, that's good. I can pump everything in the factory. Okay, no damage from the power search, that's good. Um, swamp. Where? Where are my blue mana? I mean, come on, people. Oh, man. Am I going to be kicked out, like, first match? Okay, making the second year a 5-5. The cool thing, if you do this in real life, old school, you got to buy the person a beer. If you get a counter in your second year, you got to get... Well, or a drink. It doesn't have to be a beer, but a drink. That's the old school way. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna double block. And you're thinking why? Because I also wanna use the regeneration mana. There we go, awesome. And before it's his turn, I'm gonna turn my assembly worker, which I think I can do. Let's see if that works. Rechange to assembly worker. Nice. Then I'm also gonna pump the assembly worker. There we go. Take no damage from power search. <laughs> I'm such a good magic player. What? And more blue stuff? I mean, I love blue stuff, but not right now. 
Let's go for it. I mean, that Mishra's factory is really saving my life. Like, that's, that's my lifeline. The only problem is, it's, well, a problem, but it's super annoying because I have to keep thinking about it. And if I misclick, like on get mana or something, bump assembly worker. Like if I make a misclick, then I'm gonna take a mana burn, so. Sengir, which I cannot play because I need extra mana. Man. I mean, it's a 6-6, six, six. that's pretty cool. Ooh, that is not great. Uh, no fast effect, so I can regenerate it. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain this much because I'm winning the game. But at the start, I really felt like I was in trouble. Hmm, let's attack. I mean, he's going to block with the... But I think he's going to die on his own power search, actually. Yeah, okay, power search doing work for me. I love that. Uh, Dancing Scimitar, that's quite good. Now let's answer that question. What is the total casting cost of the Giant Badger? Oh, man, I did, this is one of those Prism cards. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Is it... Oh, is it two green and one? I, oh, I think three. Yeah, that's good. Wow. Hey, treasure. 100 coal, gold in a bag of jewels. You know what? I'm going to leave you guys because I think this is just going to be like a straight line or something. Like, like just like a corner. So I'm going to go to this dude over there. I'm feeling confident with my dancing scimitar, so... Let's go, people. The Hydra. Let's play against the Hydra. Yes. Play first. There we go. Mmm. Got to take a mulligan. Nothing. Not on Nopis, guys. What? Taking a mulligan again? No mana? What's going on? I guess I'm gonna attack. The only thing, good thing about having no mana is that the power surge is not gonna work on me. Damn, this is bad. I pressed take a mulligan, right? Or did I do something else? Now, now, I'm, now I'm starting to doubt myself. I mean, the hand's pretty good. Oh wow, he's gonna cast another one? No way. Okay, City of Brass, I could go for Time Walk, which I think is needed in this scenario. Let's just do it. Again, using Time Walk in a way I don't want to, you know, because you're kind of like cycling it away, but it's because of the Lance. I just need the Lance, and at least I have double combat with the uh, with the Scimitar, and I don't take damage from the Power Surge, so just, there's just a lot of advantages to do it, but still not a fan. I'm gonna do something I also don't like, which is Brain Geyser for one. Again, you know, not taking damage. Okay, and there we go, another time walk. So I could just, I can just keep stringing these turns, right? Next turn, and again, not taking any damage from the power surge. And you have to understand, even if you draw for one, it still gets you one turn closer to the lance you need. So, yeah, wall of fire, man, no worries. Um, dark rich, okay, this is good. Now I can go dark ritual into Sengir. That's what we want to do in life. I mean, this is great, right? I can I can fly over, I can start dealing five, I can play time walk for an extra turn. Ideal. Hit him for five again, put him on ten. And of course, he's got Wall of Fire, by the way, which is great with, uh, with Power Search, because he can just dump all his red mana into that. Ooh, this is not good. 
kind of saw that coming. So here I've got a choice. I could go time walk, attack twice with scimitar, hoping to find another land um, to get like ghost ship online. But I think I'm gonna go for the Tim. You know, Time Walk is such a powerful card, so I just want to give myself some more, some more time. Just another draw step. Maybe I find something good. I can I can string a few cards together. You know, get some value. It, I, you could even consider with the Power Search on the board to steal that Wall of Fire if I can get land number four. Drain life, yeah. Okay, so I could drain for one, kill him. It's an option. But I think I'm gonna do time walk here. Let's attack. Let's ping him for one. I'm gonna take a damage from power search. Mm, I mean, what's up with the lands, people? This is so annoying. I'm thinking, by the way, if you're like, is my is it is my image frozen? No, I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking about rain living the onulet for one. Um, I mean, I could drain him for one as well. Why not? Yeah, I think we're gonna drain life the only left for one. I mean, the, the bad thing here is I'm gonna give him life, which I don't want to do, but I'm also gonna attack him at least for one. He doesn't have soul net mana open. I mean, is it ideal? No, right? Oh, fireball, of course. Of course you fireball. Finally, a mana. Finally, guys. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do ghost ship. I'm gonna do ghost ship. I feel like I can always, maybe I'm gonna steal wall of fire. That would be really funny because he wants to dump all his mana into wall of fire. Ooh, but Hippie is better though. Hippie is better than Wall. Anyway, let's first attack for three. Let's go, put him on 10. Sure, man, you go, you do that. Uh, put him on 10. Black mana. Wait, 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 cancel. I don't want to use City of Brass. That's the thing with this game. It's like sometimes so hard to see what mana am I tapping. I think I'm gonna steal the wall of fire just for just to see what he's he's probably gonna freak out just to see what he's gonna do a fireball. This mage has so much direct damage; it's very scary. Uh, oh, should I steal it? Should I steal it? Let's first attack. I feel like I don't want to steal it. I feel like. You know what? I'm going to steal it. It's too funny not to steal it. <laughs> okay, man, you try you, you don't get your wall of fire no more. Exactly. Now you're going to take two extra points of damage. Power search, there we go. Ain't got your wall of fire no more. Now I can start casting Sen Gears. There's one thing I'm, I'm really, really legitimately afraid of, and that's of course, if he just casts a huge, fire, a huge fireball on my life total, you know, which is doable. You know, I, I'm dead, I'm kicked out of here. Here we go, okay, on the ship. Good job, man, just get rid of the ship. I love this. It looks like I'm gonna win, because he's on three. Let's go for it. 
Hey, I've won it. Great. Okay, skeleton and a question. What special ability does the goblin rock sled have? I believe it's got mountain walk. Therefore, you got to use it with blood moon. Nobody does that, but you should. Yay, correct. Oh, where is that wizard? And look, hardly any dice, right? I'm not, I'm not getting any anything. So it could be, should I duel this person? Or, oh, it's just tough, you know. I'm going to do it, whatever. An elementalist. Fire Drake. Play first. Let's go. Start to duel. Okay, I've got Sangir Vampire, Blue Elemental Blast, which is great. If not Expector, Island Swamp, Counterspell Dark Ritual. Ooh, so I can do... This is too tempting not to. I can do Swamp Ritual into Hippie. And then next turn, I could actually use my blue elemental blast, kill the fire drake. Wow, I'm gonna do that. I am so gonna do that, people. Blue elemental blast, kill the fire drake. Bye bye. Force him to discard a card at random. Like that at random cost makes it such a good card. Uh, also play on Willow, so I don't take any damage from the search. Full circle. It is full circle. Again, mana issues. Maybe I need to check my deck. Maybe, I'm, maybe I forgot, maybe I lost some mana along the way. I thought I was playing 24, or at least 22 mana, but... Could be wrong. Uh, I'm gonna attack here. Nothing to spend my mana on, so I'm gonna take two damage from Power Surge. So is my opponent though, which is good. Uh, oh, Fireball, man, that's not cool. Ay ay ay! Luckily here I've got the blue blast, so I could consider destroying the power search. Let's wait what he does. The thing is, I think power search is gonna hurt him more than me, so I'm actually gonna take the damage. I'm gonna let power search do the work. I mean, I only have the willow. I've got no mana. I can always play the blue blast later if I want to. I mean, look at this. He's gonna go to one. This is ideal. Maybe he's gonna cast a big X spell. I can use my. Um... <laughs> oh wow. Um, does that matter actually? Does that matter? Because he's gonna die to his own. What if he has a? What if I play blue blast and he's got a counter spell, right? Then actually, I helped him live. So. I'm gonna let him do this. I can always destroy it with my, my blue elemental blast if I want to. Sure, man. I'm, I'm just taking power surge damage because he's on one. So let's pass the turn. He's dead. Okay, great. Man, nothing. Wait a minute. So I should have just stayed here. Hmm. I mean, who to attack next? The goblin lord or that or the elementalist? Since, I'm, since I've gained some extra life, I think I'm gonna go for the Goblin Lord? Or should I be scared of the Goblin Lord? No, I think I can, I go for the Goblin Lord. Brothers of Fire, oh wow. If I would have known that, I would have chosen someone else. No, do I got no mana again? Only a factory? This is bad. This is so bad. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. I mean, seriously, I've only had mana issues. Okay, island is good. Um, I'm gonna time walk. I'm gonna time walk because I need Lance. It's just this is this 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 has been hard work, you know. God, oh man. I don't like to whine, but I mean this this castle has been hard work. Like 
Mana screw after mana screw. Uh, sure, man, go for it. Oh, contract from below. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. So one of the things I can do here is I can attack. Um, but maybe he forgets to turn his goblin into a flyer. Who knows? I can block it that. Or play a giant strength, of course. Of course. Uh, let's just take the damage. That is, that's, that's not great. That is not great. Hmm. Oh yeah, power search. Yep. Okay, swamp. I'm actually happy with the swamp. Um, I get a contract, right? Yeah, I've got to. This 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 hand is going nowhere. Will this be the comeback? Uh, I think so. Actually, look at that blue elemental blast. It's gonna be great. And I have a time walk. I'm gonna time walk. Let's see, what do I have? I can go underground C. I've got Sengears. I should play Sengear, right? Dark Ritual, let's do that first. I've got three mana. Exactly, and then I want to keep, because I want to keep a blue open for that blue elemental blast. If he uses direct damage or something, whatever, you know. Uh, oh, this is really funny. <laughs> I love, I mean, I do love that. I think it's so cool. This is old school stuff, man. When we used to play enchant creatures, giant strength was just super cool, you know. Giant strength on goblins, that's something, that's something people used to do, you know. Um... Unfortunately for my opponent, I do have these these blue elemental blasts boarded in for the red castle. So, wow, the polka band's kind of funny. It's one of those uh, chandelier cards, right? It's random. Two and tap, pay one red for each target. Tap any number of random target creatures. I mean, that's a dangerous card. I don't like random when I'm I'm ahead in the game, you know. Uh, let's go underground C, and I'm just gonna go for sing here. Now it's time for me to be the aggressor. I mean, that contract from below saved my ass. Like I was losing, I was losing, losing with the mana issues. Ah, uh, Kelden Warlord, such an old star. Again, a card that, that used to see a lot of play. I mean, this game really makes me want to play these, these, these cards again. You know, that's, I think that's what I love so much about this game. Just gonna attack here. Um, I think I'm gonna go control magic. Uh, blue, blue. I'm gonna steal this one. I'm sorry, you're playing with really cool cards. I, I respect that, but I just gotta do this. I mean, Keldon Warlord, because it's got power toughness equal to the amount of creatures. It's really nice in a deck with uh, with goblins. Sure, make make my creature a little bit bigger. I like that. Um, let's go change assembly worker. Let's go pump assembly worker. Power surge. I mean, these assembly workers have been great, kind of negating damage from. Uh, from the power search. Let's also attack with the warlord, why not? I mean, how often can you get to attack with such a cool creature? You gotta do it. Okay, is the wizard there? Oh man, it's all the way over here. What, jeez Louise, how am I? Mm, I thought I was there already. Oh. 
two elementalists I gotta defeat? I really hope that I'm not getting any more mana screws, like... Fire Drake, okay. Let's play first. Start the duel. Uh, swamp ritual into hippie, right? That's what you gotta do. And again, I've got the blue elemental blast, so I can do blue elemental blast, take care of the fire drake, force him to discard. You know, I can't complain about this hand so far. Again, the mana though, it's a bit tricky. You see what the computer did there? That was a smart move, pumping the, the, the mountain into the fire drake before it got destroyed so you don't take damage from the power surge. Like, the AI is pretty good. Taking a damage from the surge here because I didn't use that one swamp. Okay, got Willow, not too shabby. Let's just attack. Ooh, losing a fireball there. That was good. Playing the Willow. Power surge damage, another Willow. At least, at least I'm finding stuff I can play out, but again, like the mana issue here. I need to check my deck for sure. Like I've got a I've got a land problem. I mean, if, well, this went really fast, by the way. I I the thing is, I'm in a dungeon, so I cannot check my deck right now. But again, a mana screw there. Fire Drake in play. Okay. Ah, I turn one to toss. You will play first. Oh, look at this. Take a mulligan for sure. Okay, good. What do I have? Swamp, Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual. And a Blue Elemental Blast. That's actually pretty good. Mm. Underground C. That is really nice because I also have Counter Magic in hand. So I'm going to pass the turn here. Probably going to play Blue Elemental Blast on the Fire Drake. Um, so kill the fire drake that saves me two damage and it saves me uh, damage from the power surge. So it saves me three damage in total. I'm gonna go island, um, and then I've got counter magic up. So I'm kind of hoping for my opponent to just play something out. That's a nice thing with power search. You're also kind of um, motivated to, to, to play anything out. Ooh, look at this, not doing that. Uh-oh, taking two damage. Um, okay, you know what? If you don't wanna play anything out, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go dark ritual again because I want to play Sengir and Time Walk. Ah, ah, this is quite the turn. This is quite the turn. The only problem I'm having right now is I don't have a Mana Sink, like I don't have uh, a Factory like I had earlier, so... But look at that, he's already on six, or she's, she's already on six, which is great. Uh, nope, just have to take the damage. Okay, great, so there's the factory for the mana sink. I mean, this game's going so well. Like, I think she's gonna die from the surge, exactly, minus two. Okay, that's good. So let's do the question, why not? Uh, which is the toughness of Earth's adventure? Toughness is four, it's a four, four. Yeah. Ooh, another treasure. But now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment. I'm gonna play against the wizardess, the red wizardess. <sighs> okay. Focus, make no mistakes, don't click too quick. I mean, this is taking, I'm already playing for like almost an hour. Focus, let's go for it. Mm, this is the moment. Okay, play first. Take a mulligan. Again, no lands. This is insane. 
Okay. Uh, what do we have? Drain Life, Protocol, Control Magic, Hippie, Time Walk. The only thing we're missing here to make it a great hand, well, two things, Blue Elemental Blast and uh, obviously a Dark Ritual. So we could have a potential first turn Hypnotic, but it's not too bad there. Gem Bazaar for Whites. Okay, that's lucky for me. Oh man, dude, don't do that, please. Swamp. I'm just gonna time walk again. I don't like it. I don't like to use time walk this way, but I need lands. Mmm. Oh, oh, this is so bad. Look at her life total 33. Dropping to 11. Oh, dropping to 9 is taking damage. Um, wow. All I can do really here is cast a Tim. Things are bad. Like he's going to attack with Fire Drake, put me on 7. What I really need next turn is... Um, I need a land. Just give me a land. Willow. <laughs> Willow is not going to cut it. Like, it could be worse, but... I'm still going to take two, drop to five. I think I'm probably going to chump the fire drake. Um, wow, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm going to block. I just don't want to take any damage. Still going to take two from the power search. Oh, man. Yep. Make matters even worse. Okay, this is good because I have two control magic. So I'm simply going to just steal everything. I'm going to chum the engine with the Tim. At least going to ping her for one. I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Steal that dragon whelp. That's cool. Um, gonna steal the whelp. I think that's good. Man, this is a tough match. This is really like I'm on five. She's on thirty four. Like this is insane. Um, if he's gonna attack with the dragon engine, he can make it into a three three. Sure. <laughs> a crawl worm. So cool. Okay, I gotta I gotta take a moment to I've got five mana. Okay, this is this is this is actually nice because I can take care of the power surge. Um let's go hypnotic specter. I mean he's probably gonna attack with a crawl worm, and I feel like I have to double block it. Oh man, this is it's it's an interesting game. Um You know what? I'm going to I'm going to pass and we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Obviously, I want to use the blue blast on end step. Wow, another Dragon Whelp. Should I counter? I mean, that Dragon Whelp is going to kill me regardless. So I guess I... Man, I wanted to take care of the Power Surge. I'm going to counter it. Okay, he's not attacking. That is unexpected. Uh, ooh, a Royal. Royal is good. The big problem here is I'm on three. <laughs> it's really a big problem. I'm going to go to one next turn. Right, because I'm going to take two from the Power Surge. Assuming he cannot deal any damage to me. Okay, let, let me think. I've got the Royal. Should I attack with the Hippie here to take care of the last card in hand? <sighs> this is so hard. I feel like I have to. I feel like I have to. I'm just going to chump anyway. Whatever. I'm just going to attack. Okay. Fairy Dragon. Oh, man. That Power Surge. 
The thing is, I had to counter the whelp. Of course, he's gonna attack here with both. Um, two damage. Oh, I'm so not happy with the way this is going. Um. But I can survive. This is pretty cool. Uh, let's do Royal first. I really have to think here. Um, I can drain a bird for one. I would go to two. But then I've got two untapped lands. So I would still die. So I've got to play... A Tim for three, I guess. And then I've got to pay play a drain life for zero. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Remember, I mean, she's playing red as well. I mean, he's gonna be burned out, probably, but as long as I'm not dead, I'm gonna oh of course. <laughs> But he's not attacking because of the uh, oh, because of the royal probably. Oh, I'm gonna die from the. Oh, this is so bad. I'm gonna die because of the power search. Oh, frustrating, 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 frustrating. Um. I mean, if I take a time walk turn here, I'm going to die. Um, if I pass the turn, I'm going to die. If I, you know, I'm going to pass the turn because I think my only way of maybe not losing, which is one zero point zero zero one percent is that she kills herself. Fingers crossed. I don't know. Let's pass the turn. See what happens. Kill yourself? Maybe, please. Would be nice. Oh, winds of change. Okay, actually, this is not too bad of a scenario. It's still gonna die, but let's ping her for one, just, you know, because we can. Um, thank you um, for this great dungeon ride. Let's ping her for one again. Put her on, put her on, a, on a 30 life, you know. Um, yeah, minus four. And I lost it, Timmy. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. I'm going to go back in here. Um, I'm going to save for now. <sighs> Am I happy, Tim? No. Is it that bad? Neither. You know, I, 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 I lost it, Tim, which is sad. Um, but you know what? Next, next episode, I'm going to go back into the Red Castle. I am not giving up on the people of Chandelar. I will get into that rat castle. Oh, but man, this game, this game can be a little bit uh, tough. Let's quit. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.